It's time to unbox another Z-Box, the mystery box made for geeks. And as for the month, I believe this is the Z-Box for September 2018, but we will know, at least I'll know, and then you'll know. I mean, you won't know the same time as I know, because I'm gonna open this up. As I'm currently recording this right now, and then I still have to edit it. So I'm sort of ahead of the game of knowing what the contents are and second to that, what month it is, you guys will only have to know later on as soon as I post this. If I never do post it, you guys will never know. Just, just be one of those mysteries of life. What was in the Z-Box for September 2018? The world will never know. You could, of course, check other videos, but I would like to think that this is the premier channel for unboxings. And let's hope the proof is in the pudding here by opening up the Z-Box for September 2018. I'm going to grab Old Red for this. She's probably the best suited. Somebody has asked where Hank is. Hank is still here. To be honest, let me let, let, me, uh, let you in on something. Come here. Come here for a second. Okay, so the truth is I don't know where Hank is. That's it. I don't, I don't, I don't know where he is. He's vanished somewhere. I'm sure he'll come, he'll turn, turn up. He'll turn up somewhere, I would hope. Okay, so inside for the Z-Box, we've got ourselves some packing pillows. Don't need those. I can just discard those. And by discarding, I'm just going to put them on the floor. You probably can't see it, but underneath this $75,000 backdrop, there's a whole lot of roughage. There's a whole lot of garbage. I'm going to have to spend some time, quality time in the afternoon to clean that up. Just can't get around to doing it just yet. Oh, what do we got here? What do we got here? This is the Universal Monsters Frankenstein. Now you'll see it says Frankenstein. It will shock you. Nowhere on here do you see Frankenstein, the, the actual Frankenstein that makes the monster. I know that's always a debated topic. I personally am perfectly fine referring to this as Frankenstein and not Frankenstein's monster. That's just how I roll. I believe actually even in the book, it's never even referred to as Frankenstein's monster. This is a debated topic that I've weighed in on a couple of times with various viewers who have said, his name is not Frankenstein, it's Frankenstein's monster. To which then I would say, theoretically, he's not even referred to as Frankenstein's monster in the book. He's simply called the monster. So there you go. Knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe. We've got the Gears of War vinyl figure from the folks over at Funko. And let's go ahead and get this one opened up. If I'm correct by what I'm about to say, I think I've already had a look at these as the entire case. One of the biggest problems I did face, though, is I honestly have never played Gears of War. I might have played maybe about 15 minutes of Gears of War. And being that Funko never lists the names of their characters on the back, I might have mixed up a couple of these, but... C'est la vie. Let's open this one up here. So this is probably going to be absolutely no help to me, being that on the back of the box, it doesn't even tell me who these characters are. So I'm only going to just randomly open up and say, hey, it's this guy. And somebody's going to say, what? You don't know it's so-and-so? No, I really don't. That is Locust? Eh? I don't know. I mean, it's neat looking. And when I had a look at the entire wave, as a whole, they were pretty cool looking. Which one is this one, by the way? Well, it's this one right here. It's one of 12. I don't personally remember because I'd have to be... Like, I literally would have to be researching Gears of War at the time, like, moments before I opened this up. Just on the off chance that inside was a Gears of War mystery box. You can almost see the limitations of why saying I don't know who this is is a viable argument. I wasn't expecting him to be inside, and therefore, ergo, I don't know. I didn't know who it was. What else do we have in here? We have a Dracula limited edition coin. Now that's pretty cool. Underneath we got the Universal Monsters little uh, crest the logo there. And that's what it looks like on the back. Actually this isn't, is that the reverse? Well it says Dracula, but then on the other side that clearly looks like Frankenstein to me. It says limited edition coin, but then it says reverse side of coin. Well, that's that's not Dracula. I don't know why they advertise it as Dracula on the top when clearly that's Franken... Speaking of Frankenstein's monster, 
It is exclusive to Z-Box, individually numbered, embossed on both sides, and it's made of antique silver. Well, it's antique silver edition. I don't think it's actually made of silver. Keep it away from the werewolf, whatever you do. Uh, inside, we also have, if I can actually grab it, what is this? This is the Stranger Things 11 versus the Demogorgon. I don't really know what this is. It's, it says Loot Crate on the side, super, super emo friends. I'm assuming it's probably, is it a statue? Let's find out. Open this up and pull out the contents. Put that right there. Let's move this box back a little bit. Okay, so it looks like it's a statue. You know, I've never seen these before. Made up of a couple of parts. It looks like some assembly is required. Pop that out and pull out the flooring. Let's see here, how do we put this together? Oh, okay, so that's the back. See, there's pegs right here, one, two, three, and four. Four holes, one, two, and three, and four. And we're gonna attach those in place, just like that. There we go. And this is inside the school, and we can take the pegs from 11, plug that into place. That's pretty cool, I like that. Kind of a cuter version of 11, battling this demon. That's pretty neat, I like that. I'm gonna have to find a place to put that. Probably somewhere near my Stranger Things. The Stranger Things VHS, mock VHS uh, season one case that I have. And what else do we have in here? We have the Mummy, Pop Movies Mummy, 434. Let's have a look on the back. There is also the Mummy. There is uh, Aminet, Aminet, I think that's how you pronounce it, and Nick Morton. Collect the entire line of Mummy Funko Pop super stylized vinyl figures. You know what? I actually enjoyed the Mummy. I had no problem with the Mummy whatsoever. I liked the idea of how she turned other people into mummies. I liked her as a mummy. I liked Tom Cruise. I, I don't know why this movie got so much hate the way that it did. Nonetheless, though, it doesn't look like the dark universe is happening anytime soon. It would have been nice to see. Because I think, wasn't Angelina Jolie uh, slated to play the Bride of Frankenstein? Now, that would have been interesting. But who knows, what, who knows what's going to happen. Nobody's ever happy with anything. You sort of always want sequels to original movies, and then when those can't happen, people are people are just too nitpicky about everything nowadays. I like The Mummy. That's, that's all that matters. I mean, from me, from my standpoint, from me watching a movie, all that matters is whether I like the movie, because I'm the one that's watching it. I like The Mummy. You didn't. Congratulations, you didn't like the movie. Okay, so let's have a look at all the things that we got inside. A pretty substantial Z-Box. I'm guessing probably for October 2018, because everything in here was horror related. We got the mummy, mummy figure. I'm gonna put this on top, that's pretty cool. We got a Super Emo Friends Stranger Things 11 versus the Demogorgon. A character of unknown origin from Gears of War, which I think, I think it's a locust, I can't remember. Put that right there. Got ourselves a Dracula coin, with for some strange reason, Frankenstein's monster on the back. And what started it all, over here, we got ourselves, of course, the Frankenstein's t-shirt. You'll notice I omitted Frankenstein's monster. It's not called that in the book. He's called the monster. Look it up. It's called the monster. Either way, today we were having a look at the Z-Box. And again, I'm going to assume it's for October 2018. If you guys are interested in getting t-shirts, collectibles, pops, possibly and even coins. Z-Box is the subscription box for you. I'll put the link down below if you'd like to subscribe. And speaking of links down below, here comes that shameless plug for the channel. Make sure you hit that little subscribe button that's located just below this video if you haven't done so already, because then you'll never miss out on any future content that's coming to this channel. As I post so much, Sometimes way too much. I apologize for that because there's always new stuff that I want to cover for you guys. But if you want to miss out on anything, don't subscribe. If you don't want to miss out on anything, make sure you hit that little subscribe button and make sure you swing by the homepage and check out the video section. No, I'm not going to mention the bell. 
I guess by not saying that, I did mention the bell. You can hit the bell notification as well, but I don't even know if it works. Who knows? I don't know. Either way, guys, more videos will be coming your way. So as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.